Hi, this is uh, Wade Harvey with uh, C Sharp Part 2 Movie Collection Starter Kit. We'll do three things in this tutorial. We'll use the desktop template uh, that's included with uh, C Sharp to get the Amazon Web Enabled Starter Kit. We'll install that starter kit, secondly, and then we'll run the movie uh, collection application to help you get familiar with it. And later we'll uh, start modifying that application. Okay, uh, we'll start by opening up uh, C Sharp by clicking on Start. Then it's under All Programs. If you installed it as uh, illustrated in tutorial number one uh, from me, uh, then mine is uh, in the Quick Start menu since I've used it recently. I'll just grab it from there. Okay, so it opens up. And the first thing we want to do is uh, a file new project. We want to grab a, a template. Uh, it shows the uh, it installed templates that come with uh, Visual uh, C Sharp. So movie collection uh, is the one we're interested in. We we'll click on that. Actually, there's two versions of the movie collection uh, starter kit. One is just a desktop application that does not allow you to uh, get information from external sources, and the other one's an Amazon web enabled application that's more interesting. And so uh, we need to down in the center screen here in the designer uh, portion. Uh, here's the documentation on this, and it says download the updated web plus edition. So we click on that, then we go down and click here to download the web enabled. What this does, uh, it um, sends requests and uh, Amazon has a web service that allows you to send requests to it and it'll uh, answer your request with uh, the information that you are searching for. So you get uh, a lot more information. So here, here it is, the Amazon enabled movie collection starter kit. And we want the C sharp version, not the Visual Basic one. So we're going to download this uh, starter kit. So we scroll down and we say I, I accept. And we save it. Uh, and then we open it. To run it depending on which uh, explorer you're using and you accept the terms and that says that it's uh, going to install the starter kit yes we want to it's ready and click finish to install it we do that I've already done this before so I need to overwrite it and installation completed successfully so we close this and now when we go up to file new project We'll have, um, we must discard, uh, you can save or discard, discard is what we really want to do, the current project that was open, because that was the disk uh, version, what we want is the um, Amazon enabled, so now when under my templates you'll have this new icon that says Amazon enabled movie collection, so you double click that and that's going to open up your uh, starter kit. So uh, this involves uh, connecting to a database, and uh, one problem you may encounter is that the uh, need to have a remote uh, uh, your SQL Server 2005. If you've installed that, you may, uh, the the default is to only allow local connections and it won't allow uh, C Sharp to connect to it remotely. So to fix that you have to go to Start All Programs, SQL Server Configuration Tools, Server uh, Surface Area Configuration, and then uh, you click on this at the bottom and this 
allows you to specify that you want uh, this is my n name of my server you click on local and remote connections using TCP IP you may not even have this problem but if you do that's how you fix it okay so um, so here's the database it connects to and to run the application you can click uh, this uh, green arrow or you can uh, press F5 either one will run the application so we're going to go ahead and run the application to try and get familiar with it before we start making any modifications to it in the next tutorial this is just to demonstrate w the power that you full things that you can do with uh, C C sharp. So uh, we want to search online to use this Amazon enabled uh, capability. And let's say we're searching for programming DVDs. Get that there and click search. It goes out. It sends a request to Amazon. Amazon a answers in XML, and uh, that feeds it back into your C# -sharp program, and uh, it's bound to the table. Okay, there's some reason it bounced out of there. I'm sorry. Uh, there's the results that Amazon sent back, and here's one on Visual Basics uh, Net. So we would be interested in that. And this gives you the details from Amazon. I'm not sure why we get a red X for this one, but so uh, we can uh, search online again for C sharp. There's two uh, DVD sets out there for C Sharp. Click on them. And here we get a. Uh, some reason the images are not appearing, but uh, this is the information from Amazon here. If you want to view the information about the book online, you can click on View Online. It'll get out there. Open up a browser window. <coughs> C Sharp is opening up the browser window for you, and it takes you to Amazon. You can view the details of the book, how, uh, the DVDs, how much they cost, and such. This is uh, looks like uh, it's between nine bucks. It mix reviews, whatever. So you now we go back to our program. And uh, if you want to enter something that's not on Amazon, you can just uh, double click that enter new row and type in your title and so forth. And that's it. Uh, so next time we'll work on changing the title of the movie and uh, uh, adding fields and so forth. Thanks for watching.